Grüß euch Leute und willkommen back to a new YouTube video. Grüß euch Leute und willkommen back to a new YouTube video. Today we're going to Egypt. I'm currently walking towards the Damascus Gate. And yeah, what should I say? I'm pretty hyped. Like it got final last week that I'm coming with the guys. And there we are. Alright, there we are doing this kind of break with the bus. Like, you have, I don't know it, if it's usual, but you have like one or two breaks, and that's the second one. And like, look at Jordan behind me. It's so amazing, really. Oh, we're talking in English. What are we doing right now? No, it's fine. We're going to go to Egypt. It's a little bit of Super. Uh, okay, like he said, this is your super. Jawohl. So there we are waiting on the, I don't know what it is, like, yeah, it's like some checkpoint. They don't want to let our camera through. Yeah, they gave me this paper and when we'll return, we'll pick up the, the camera because the zoom is too much. I don't know, like, that's so weird. And now that we are waiting, like actually no front, but why are Arabs so chaotic? So there we are, good morning. Um, sun already risen. Um, yeah, I had an awful night really, <laughs> but life's good, you know what I mean. So if I got it right, we're here in the St. Catherine Monastery. Like the landscape, look at that, it's surreal, like... Alright, after almost like 10 hours car ride, we're here in Cairo. Um, this city is <laughs> far beyond big, so yeah. A really, really nice um, experience, I'd say. Was ich überhaupt dummer müssen? Ja, ja, verzögern dann Money Change. Alright, so we arrived at the hotel. It's pretty awesome, I'd say. Ja, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very, very nice here. No, yeah. could be worse, I'd say. So now we are here in the Egyptian Museum, the main square in Cairo. And yeah, it's amazing to see all those stones of history. And like the first section is a lot like 2000 years before Christ. And I, I think about like, wow, <laughs> those things are almost like in time that far away as we are from the life of Jesus. So, yeah, it's amazing. like almost an hour or a lot more probably but it's so chill like I'm chilling with this dude and um, yeah the people are here so kind I'm, I'm just so thankful for them 
it's awesome really to experience that we're watching Spider-Man Homecoming with Arabic subtitles which is <laughs> amazing and I thought of like yesterday I don't know if I mentioned we were in the mosque and people were there just sitting chilling some were praying and I thought about like what went wrong with Christianity why is it so abnormal to to like you have to go uh, especially to a church and then you just like you're like oh, I'm praying but it's it doesn't seem too natural for me or to me so yeah I think we can learn a lot from Muslims in this way because like praying there is so normal and natural and also we watch this movie and then it's, I think it's one of the TV channels and they interrupted the film because it was prayer time and then then they had like the prayer on the TV as well and oh, I'm so impressed by that like we have to figure out some way to to get prayer natural again and that that it's like for the whole society natural to to just pray and speak to God like that's that's really what I love about this um, Arabic culture that prayer is so normal here. <laughs> Good morning, there I am. Like, look at this beautiful landscape. Like, <laughs> I'm absolutely blown away. I um, arrived yesterday around midnight, I'd say. It was so random because I, I chilled like over three hours in this um, yeah, village kind of. And then I drove with some random Bedouins here. And I was planning to see the sunrise at Mount Sinai. I don't actually even know which of these like mountains is Mount Sinai. And then the guy at the reception told me it's also not allowed to go without a guide hiking. Mm, just thinking of if I just don't care and go either way <laughs> but um yeah it's awesome like I have time till 2 p.m here and this one guy in there is just preparing breakfast and I slept so well so it's already paid off in my opinion so there I am <coughs> walking towards Mount Sinai it's, uh, through the valley there and I made this really weird construction with my um, yeah, shirt <laughs> and the hat so but oh, I love this quietness here it's so amazing they told me also that I can't go without a guide but either way, I'll try to. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> um, and we'll see. I think it's a big value to, just to get an impression. Okay, so that's how Mount Sinai looks like. And maybe I'll find a group where I can sneak in or something. But yeah, <laughs> it's so it's so nice to have like low expectations because then you can't get like um how do you call it disappointed you can't get disappointed that's a big value i'd say so there i am at saint catherine monastery that's how it looks and uh, behind me there is a bush and it's this burning bush that uh, god spoke to moses and yeah it's it's a very special place like i'm I'm not totally um, sure if that's like the actual historical place, but um, sometimes I doubt if it's really the actual place, but however, it have to be in those few square meters, which is, yeah, which is impressive. And wow. What a what a special appearance of God to 
to come in a burning bush. Like, that's crazy, isn't it? So, there I'm driving to the Taba crossing with my driver. <laughs> And yeah, one thought I wanted to share is like how relative time is here. Like nobody's in a hurry. They don't even know the word hurry, which is amazing. We can definitely, um, yeah, try to, to put it also in our lives to, to be like chilled and <laughs> not always worrying about so many things. Um, to get them in time, whatever. So I really, really recommend to go here for vacation because yeah, it's awesome. Like, I love it. And the view, like, check this out. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, I'm a bit upset because I got pretty much scammed. I had no Egyptian pounds anymore and they, I don't know, it's, that's just a bit. Hmm. So there we are, finally a crispy picture again. Um, in total, I would say it was an, an <laughs> absolutely worth it trip. Experienced so many nice things and had such a good time also chilling with Bedouins and stuff. I really, really enjoyed that. And now I have like three or four or five, six, seven, eight more hours to go to Jerusalem. But yeah, I'll manage it somehow. I always do. <laughs>